accelerate, you don't accelerate in the path of your depression. Depression feels low. It feels heavy. And it's okay. If it comes up, it's fine. Love it. Embrace it. Let it be there. But as you let it be there, you see that it's pasted onto the canvas of your creation. It's not who you are. Crucial difference. When depression comes up, you know very clearly that it's one of those experiences that you made manifest so that you can very clearly see, very clearly distinguish who you are and who you're not, what is true and what is not true. And anything that does not feel good is fundamentally vibrationally out of alignment with the truth of your being. That is why it feels bad. It's the only reason it feels bad, not because something happened in your circumstances, not because your painting is actually wrong. There's not a wrong painting anywhere. There's not a wrong circumstance. There cannot be a wrong circumstance because every circumstance is an equally valid and empty and neutral expression of infinity. There cannot ever be something inherently wrong with your circumstances. You only feel bad because your beliefs about what you're seeing are untrue, because your beliefs about who you are in relationship to what you're seeing are untrue, because your state of being is just being randomly operated. You're not conscious of it. You're not intending who you wish to be. You're not deciding what is true? You're not pasting onto your creation who you are. You're not seeing your preference. That's why you feel bad. That's why you slow down. That's why you become depressed. Again, if it happens, it's great. We're human beings. And there is this thing called ups and valleys, peaks and valleys, right? But it goes up all the time unless you really, really idolize depression and really identify with it. But any depressive state of being can be seen as not here but paste it onto creation as a way for you to reflect whether or not that's who you are. What about those ideas that you're having feel heavy? And what about those ideas feel enlightening and empowering? Anything that's truly yours, any thought that has a vibration, everything is vibration, including thoughts, including physical matter, which does not actually exist as physical matter. It's just frequency. It seems like it's physical matter. Everything is vibration in this universe, in consciousness. And so when you're having a thought, that has the frequency at its basis that is coming from the frequency that is in alignment with the vibration of your constant, true, invisible, unconscious, but really higher conscious self. You could call it your heart. Many people call it your heart or your intuition. Um, but it's simply your non-physical, ever-on, ever-present consciousness, higher consciousness. Boom. That core frequency of who you truly are is always on. It's always vibrating. That's why you can either feel good or feel bad. If you had no higher self presence frequency that was always with you, you would never feel good or bad. You would simply experience that moment in a very neutral way. How does that work? Why? Because you feel good or bad, depending on how far you move away from that core frequency that's always on. The further you move away from that, out of alignment from that vibration, the more you will feel the distance between your true self and your position self. So place that position self, the see it, feel it being, consciousness being, you, your conscious choice of being. Place that in a vibration, vibratory state of being and thinking and seeing and believing and acting and behaving that is in vibrational resonance that syncs up with this ever on frequency that is you and your experience, your emotional experience becomes that of, at the very least, peace, if not joy, excitement, bliss. Expansion, creativity, excitement, different forms of excitement, different forms of <sighs> yes, big yes to existence. You feel in alignment. Everyone knows this feeling. It's a good feeling. It's called a good feeling. That's what we call it. Good feelings. Good feelings are versions of you getting closer and closer and closer in alignment with the ever-present frequency that is always hitting you like a wall. It's always present as a wall, as this barometer, as this constant field that you're inundated with that you can't perceive. But as soon as you create something that's not in alignment with it, you will feel it as pain, as suffering, as struggle. If you learn from that, see that, ah, you created, you manifested that reality so that you can know that that's not who you are and you can simply start to see, feel, and be without having to even hearken back to your traumas and all these things but simply start creating something new. Start shifting your reality, your identity, until your trauma has become so far a thing of the past parallel self that they're no longer yours and then you're healed. 
So if anything, spiritually bypass. Yes to spiritual bypassing. Because it heals you. Staying with it does not heal you. You'll stay with it. Here's the thing. You cannot take something that hurts and remove it from existence. That's what many people think healing is. You cannot take something that exists and make it non-existent. It's impossible. So healing does not exist. You can't heal something that is. Something that is already is what it is, and it will always be present in that parallel frequency reality. Why? Because it offers many different consciousnesses, many different experiences that they choose to experience by their vibration, by their vibrational match. You cannot take your trauma and heal it. It's meant to be a traumatic experience. That's what it's there for, to offer people traumatic experiences. If you wish to heal yourself, you need to understand that you are a different vibrational reality now. And when you know that, that now just seems like a distant memory that you can't really connect to anymore. It just feels like it's, oh yeah, it's just an image on a screen. But you can't feel it and be it because your vibration is so far moved on into a different higher vibrational reality that you now feel completely healed without ever staying with that trauma. You spiritually bypassed your way into healing. Yay! Finally. I'm not saying it's not a good practice to sometimes experience the feelings that come up and quote-unquote sit with them or stay with them, but not for too long. Just to gain experience. Just to see what it's like to look at your painting and not really enjoy what you're seeing. But with a smile on your face, knowing that it's your painting over there and it's not who you are. In fact, it's showing you more and more that that's not who you are because it's not feeling good. But you don't stay with it and try to somehow eradicate it from existence by your loving gaze. Your loving gaze will only help you because the love that is in your gaze will shift your frequency to a reality where you're no longer in touch with that reality. And so you feel healed and you create the illusion of, oh my God, I healed my trauma. No, it's still there. Dig hard enough and you'll find it. It's right there waiting for you. If you want it to be. If you want to experience it again, you can. Everything that is created at any given moment in time, and since there is no time from the absolute point of view, everything that can ever possibly be created is already created. Therefore, stop fighting with reality. Stop fighting with the fact that all possibilities exist and that they are meant to exist because infinity wishes to express itself in infinite ways and therefore, since there is no time, all infinite ways are already manifest. Since that already exists, why not stop arguing with creation, with existence, with the way things are, and simply move on to the frequency of your presence, of your preference. See your preference, feel your preference, be your preference, and there's no argument with, reali with reality. Everyone can choose their reality. There's more than enough for everyone. There's more than enough trauma for everyone. There's more than enough happiness for everyone. We can all choose what we want to choose. 